The red heifer prophecy found in the Book of Numbers in the Hebrew Bible has recently gained attention due to its potential connection to the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine. The prophecy describes a rare red heifer, a young female cow, which is to be sacrificed and burned with its ashes used for ritual purification. According to Jewish tradition, the ashes of the red heifer are necessary for the purification of the Jewish people and the rebuilding of the Third Temple in Jerusalem, a site of great religious significance for both Jews and Muslims. The quest for the red heifer has led some fervent believers, such as Yitzhak Mamo of Uvni, Jerusalem, to search far and wide for the perfect specimen. After a long search, Mamo and his associates found their red heifers in Texas, specifically Texas Red Angus cattle. To bypass strict laws banning the export of U.S. cattle to Israel, the heifers were classified as pets. For those following biblical commandments, however, the cows are no laughing matter. They believe that the appearance of a red heifer is a sign of the coming of the Messiah and the end of days. The connection between the red heifer prophecy and the Israel-Palestine conflict lies in the religious and political significance of Jerusalem, particularly the Temple Mount. Currently, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, two of the holiest sites in Islam, are located on the Temple Mount. The rebuilding of the Third Temple, as prophesied in the Bible, would require the removal or destruction of these Islamic holy sites, which would undoubtedly lead to a major escalation in the already volatile conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. The Temple Mount has been a flashpoint for violence and tension between Israelis and Palestinians for decades. Both sides claim religious and historical ties to the site, and any perceived change to the status quo has often led to protests, riots, and even armed confrontations. Jewish activists, like Melissa Jane Kronfeld, lead groups up the Temple Mount five days every week, advocating for the rebuilding of the Third Temple. While Kronfeld insists that her goal is not to take anything from Muslims, she believes that the Dome of the Rock should be relocated to make way for the new temple. The suggestion of removing or relocating the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque has been met with strong opposition from Muslims worldwide. Mustafa Abu Sway, the Imam al-Ghazali chair at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, warns that such an action would be opening a Pandora's box that nobody can close, as Al-Aqsa Mosque belongs to all two billion Muslims worldwide. The Red Heifer prophecy has also gained attention among some American evangelicals, who believe that the Red Heifers will usher in the second coming of Christ. At a recent national gathering for prayer and repentance in Washington, D.C., Yitzhak Mamo spoke of his heifers and his hopes for a third Jewish temple, with support from evangelical leaders and congresspeople. As the red heifers graze in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, their presence has become a source of both hope and tension. The rebuilding of the third temple, closely tied to the red heifer prophecy, is seen by many Palestinians and Muslims as a direct threat to their own religious rights and heritage. While the red heifer prophecy is a matter of religious belief and interpretation, its potential impact on the Israel-Palestine conflict cannot be ignored.